Hello friends and welcome back to another One Punch Man video. In this video I will show you how to complete all Maelstrom challenges and to get all the rewards and get all the lights that are golden or all the buffs, the maximum buffs that you can achieve. As you see, we're ranking 1 in the group right now. It's not the most important one to rank in the first in the group. What you need to do is rank in the top 200 or uh, in, the, in the challenge here. And uh, as far as I know, I need 300 more points or 300,000 uh, points to achieve that. That I, This will be working with our merits. As you see, you can complete all of this three. The tech tree, you will uh, upgrade it to the maximum and then you will have the opportunity to deal more damage and get all the points and even uh, to finish up the challenges that you didn't. The most important thing that we need to do here and the most thing that we're going through is to get the th uh, whole challenges and to get all the rewards. We need to get at least 930 million, uh, 930,000 points. I think 930,000 points. Is this 930? Yes. 930,000 points. It's not that hard. It's not that easy. You only need to focus a little bit about uh, your, uh, uh, your uh, going through that. I will show you what I did. So I got them all maxed up to the fourth level with every single one. Now the first one, it's pretty much so easy. As you see, I'm using, I'm using a team of SRs. You can use any SRs here in this team and they will help you a lot and they will deal uh, the damage. It's the easiest one to get everything. Now the second one, I'm using uh, Hellish Bri uh, Blizzard or uh, Fubuki. Fubuki is really good here, especially because she pushes the enemies where you want. There's blue circles, three bl uh, or uh, yeah, three blue circles that you need to kill the enemy inside the circle. It doesn't need you to be in the circle. It needs to be the enemy dying within the circle limits, which is easy with a couple of free tries. You can do that. Uh, the time limit is uh, uh, a little bit uh, more than you need, but you need to just uh, kill them precisely in the circle and that's it. So the hardest challenges here are uh, first the one with the, uh, with the mosquito girl. The thing that you need to do about this is block. Now you can use of course Puri Puri to block here but it's not optimal because Puri Puri will come in handy in another uh, uh, one which is the fourth one. Now why I use Puri Puri here I will tell you two major things that you need to understand. Puri Puri doesn't die and deal and takes a little bit of damage does not get electrified a lot. Plus, I'm using Smile. Smile here uh, will help you a lot, especially if you have his SR or his R arms. The one that will allow you to reset paralysis and this will come handy very, very much. And it's one of the major things that you need in this run. Now, of course, if you have an SSR arms for anybody else of the characters that can negate paralysis at all for 60 seconds, you can use it and you can go and deal the most damages and one with uh, 60 seconds you can kill any boss uh, or you can kill vaccine man there but if you don't have it if you're like me free to play and you want to really go and destroy this and get uh, the fourth and everything else i'm gonna show you how we did it now you need to understand one thing in here block is important so you need to uh, time your blocking with uh, with the uh, saitama job with saitama is perfect this is why when i made the previous tier list and i talked about it and i told you that he is really clutch in many situations you can use him everywhere he will help you a lot and he will block the damages and stop her and keep her beneath his uh, uh, legs and keep punching her and then you'll deal the damage and get it below uh, 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 3 minutes. Now you can at least make one mistake here. More than one mistake you need to rerun the whole challenge so keep that in mind. And here all of you need to do is abuse a Puri Puri invincibility. So he's invincible when he blocks, he's invincible when he uses the first skill, he's invincible when he uses the second skill and a little bit when he uses the th third skill when you press it not while uh, he's dealing the damage. So whenever you press it, activate it, he's immune. So he will not take paralysis damage over time and he will deal a lot of damage. So this is one of the most important ones. So let's go to the video and let me show you the runs that I did. And I did them and I recorded them as I was doing them. So it would be looking more genuine. So here we are. This is the first one. It's with Jobless Saitama. I reset it, of course. I use Saitama. I drop Saitama in because he's the perfect candidate and he's SR. He's available for everybody. Of course, I use food because I want to buff my damage. I want to buff my defense and I want to buff my HP. It doesn't matter. You only need the attack food buff and we start the run. And this is how we go. I charge with the first skill, of course, uh, for her. And as soon as she hits me, I just block. As you see, this button, the, down, uh, the one that you dodge with, you block and you use his second skill of course to deal more damage now of course when you block a lot you're gonna get your third skill unlock it and go and deal damage to the boss and as you see 
in perfect precise timing you just use the block and she will get stunned by her own and you will continue dealing as much as possible from damages as you see we're dealing a lot of damage i'm spamming here the dodge because i didn't i did mistime it a little bit but it's okay and here she goes into enrage mode it doesn't matter we just need to block again and she goes in we block she's stunned we get to hit her more and more and of course we use the second skill because it deals a lot of damage now while you're using the second skill she can't lift you up in the air now we missed time something here but it's okay we can uh, uh, make at least one mistake as I said before and here we go we did the uh, insane damage and we defeated her it was easy it was not that hard and it took us literally less than a minute to kill her and this is how you achieve it and you take the full points as you see here we got it in 60 seconds and it will give us 40 more percent for annihilations in battles which is very very much helpful it will give you higher scores now after that, we go and do the Puri Puri one. Now, the Puri Puri one is not that hard, as I explained. It's barely, it's very simple. You only need to focus on two things. Puri Puri, you need to use his skills to not accumulate and take so much damage. Plus, his R arms is so important for healing. Now, I didn't use it here. It wasn't necessary. But if you feel like you're going low on HP, you need to use it. I use Smile always. Smile is very important. And I search for anybody that has heals. Now, Zombie Man has heals. He deals good amount of damage before he dies. Now, in, uh, this, in this run, everybody dies except Puri Puri, which is not important. The important thing is you need to do it within time. And as you see, I picked Smile because of his paralysis. He resets paralysis with her sec his second arms. And now we can heal with the others. Everybody else have healings. So we can keep them alive a little bit so they can help us with a little bit of more damage. And of course, I use some food. Now we start this and I completely run towards the vaccine man. Now here I made a small mistake. I took a hit, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It, we can continue that. Look at the paralysis. We have four. I reset the first one with smile. So I used it with smile. Now I'm taking damage, but I'm trying to block as much as possible. And as you see, I barely take any damage. Even when I'm taking damage, it's not that much from vaccine man. The only thing that we need to be careful about is the paralysis. I reset it again. Now my paralysis at, at half. Now I can reset again. I reset it and I continue with my third skill. As you see, he's taking a lot of damage. Plus, Vaccine Man will take damage from the floor as well, just like you. And here, I keep spamming the skills. I'm invulnerable. I'm invincible when I'm using these skills, which is absolutely perfect. And I continue dealing damage. Now I use, uh, again, the paralysis reset. Everybody is taking damage. I use the heals on Zombie Man. And of course, you need to use the heals on uh, golden ball but I didn't have to everybody is taking so much paralysis damage except my peri peri because I'm dodging them because I'm running all the time I'm using the second skill his first skill and his block so I can gain these immunities and now I use his uh, third skill to deal a lot of damage as you see here and I'm using the walking again I didn't get any time paralyzed paralyzed with anything and we break him here and in the end we did the damage and we defeated vaccine man in the time bracket everybody is dead except pretty pretty look i i almost barely took no damage which is absolutely perfect for this run this is why you can do this without ssr arms from another characters because it's really hard to pull them or to utilize them because if you're free to play you need to spend a lot and you need to go and summon for them this is how we achieved it now everything is all the buffs are glowing uh, uh legendary or yellow which is very much nice now this one you need to it's weak against technique characters so you need to use technique characters now one of the best technique characters to use here is Bang. Bang his AI is absolutely good. Now uh, Metal Knight is also decent with his AI because he stands still and he can hit from anywhere because he's range. And of course we reuse Triple Staff Lily. I didn't want to use anybody else. I did it with Zombie Man. His AI is bad. Genos AI is bad. If you have Terrible Tornado she's perfect. Manual Terrible Tornado. Do not use Terrible Tornado as an AI because she's not gonna deal that much of damage and of course uh, Fubuki she doesn't deal that much damage of course she, her AI is also terrible so I recommend using this exact same team and if you have somebody else if you play if you can play golden ball here instead of Janus that would be awesome use Janus and then a different one to deal damage uh, the one we reset uh, paralysis but because Janus have so much memories on me and he's the one that deals a lot of damage for me and he's easy fairly easy to play now I need you to pay attention for some things here. Now we will fill our combo, you'll see our combo will be filled, we will have our ultimate, we're never gonna use it 
the first time unless our yeah, the enemy the enemy boss goes to one bar and then we're gonna use it why there's a small trick using the maelstrom here so here i'm gonna get my ultimate fully maxed and i'm gonna show you when i will use it now of course use all the buffs from bang sr from metal knight sr the one that improve your attack and give it to somebody else so you improve it as much and use the composure one on a triple lily staff because it will increase our damage and it will increase the composure for somebody else on your lineup and we got it on bang now you will see in the end of the result uh, or in the end of uh, this fight that the most people that did damage of course my genus because i'm manualing him and triple staff and bang why is that because it's they are technique and these bosses are weak against technique for this week now metal knight did a good amount of damage i tried different units they didn't deal the same amount of damage that he did this is why i'm keeping him on this lineup because he's an auto attack range it doesn't matter look at here now i wait until it drops to half a bar now it's on a half a bar i use my ultimate i kill the boss now the over damage that i did is pure damage it, there's no defense reductions there are no immunities no nothing so this is what improved my score more and more now i couldn't do it again i could do it again but i didn't because i wanted to clear the bosses so fast now here uh, just you need to dodge so i dodge and with his uh, first skill you dodge with genos again i keep dodging so i didn't get uh, caught with the with the damage from uh uh, from Beast King and he didn't flip me in the sky and deal damage to me. This is awesome and this is what you need to do. Just play your combos correctly and the the worst part okay, from, for Maelstrom is the next two bosses in my opinion which is the two Mosquitoes girl. So the first Mosquito girl, the normal one and then the other one, the enraged red one which is a little bit hard. You need to follow them if you have uh, the skills of Genos of the first skill so you can uh, go and uh, follow up or pursue them which will be amazing. Now always if you get a break on the bosses remember that wait until the end do as much damage as possible and before the break ends hit it again and break them again so you can deal even more damage and they will not be moving and wasting your attacks because if, you, if they're moving and you're attacking melee you will hit the, the air and you will not benefit from the attacks as you see here he want to attack me again but we killed him before that and our ultimate will be ready so i'm really shifting really quick and going for mosquito girl now the second skill of genus of course you can stand there you don't need to care about the damage it doesn't matter if you take damage just stand there and keep hitting and then i go and use the ultimate while she's moving in air so i can stop her motion and deal as much damage as possible you need to stop them interrupt them by any means now i keep dealing damage as you see here we got rid of her and, and i immediately go to the other mosquito girl and try to hit her get my combo get to the side and then try to hit her now i use my first skill this one she can't interrupt it even if she's attacking me i go to the side avoid the damage and deal uh, a little bit of damage again i do it again and here we go this is how you need to manage this and she moves a lot this is why we whiff a lot of our attacks she trying to hit me i try to go behind her i try to hit her now she's hitting me and i'm hitting her with my second skill this is what i like about genos his second skill, he doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter, he doesn't care, even if the boss is hitting, you can hit them through it. She tossed me in the sky, but she didn't grab me because I was far uh, behind her. Now she's trying to do her attacks, so I interrupt her with an ultimate and I keep using my second skill. So when she explodes like this, she will not affect me or knock me down. And this is a really good mechanic for Genos. This is why I like Genos, I like to use him uh, very much when I'm manually instead of uh, doing uh, doing him as an AI. As you see, we are taking the damage to our face. It doesn't matter. The damages are not that much of a big deal. And plus, use food. Food will help you. It will increase your max HP by 5% and your attack and your defense. You can use the other food that will increase it even more, the purple one. But it doesn't matter. Even if you don't have it, you can use the normal food. It will help you a lot. Now, why I didn't rank in the top 200 with this one? It's simple because the merits uh, are lower on my SR characters and the other characters that I'm using. Bang is okay. Metal Knight, he needs a little bit of uh, uh, merit investment. So I'm farming these and I need a little bit of memory investment and merits and wills on my uh, triple staff Lily she's because she will help me a lot in this run, especially because she's technique and she will deal a lot of damage. As you see, Mosquito Girl, she's just uh, insane. She dodges almost everything and I'm waiting just to kill her and here in the end look at this look at this she's at almost 1 HP and she wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't want to die now carnage mode of course uh, wait up for his uh, explosion at the start and just dodge his attack and deal as much damage as possible we still have 12 seconds 
we can make it and this is where I used uh, and spammed all my skills and it doesn't matter if he's hitting me and I'm hitting my uh, C2 it will not knock me down of course his the C2 of uh, Janos is very much needed and here is the last uh, hit and that's it we hit him we did uh, 90 900,000 uh, I think 900,000 damage we almost uh, was there we need to just me deal a little bit of damage as you see metal knight is the least one but he did decent i tried zombie man i tried uh, somebody else i even tried sr genos they didn't deal that much damage as uh metal knight and this is how we ranked in the top uh in the top one in our bracket of course you're gonna get all of your uh rewards and in the end of this uh it will finish and you will get all uh, your rewards Plus you will rank up more and more, so wolf kill, and now I'm gonna get more points. It will give me two, 100 more points, and these 100 more, more points will get me to the other level. If we're gonna go and check what is the levels here, so uh, as you see, these are the rewards whenever you finish the runs. So at uh, I will gain 100 more points, we are at 250, so it will put me at that 300, 499. So I will be at a Tiger Slayer, and it will give me more uh, silver, which will be 300, not 200 anymore. More credits, of course, and the same amount of summons, at least until we go to uh, Demon Kill. When you get to Demon Kill, which needs probably two or three months more, until we hit that and then we're gonna go and keep doing that and progressing uh, the main point that you need to do is to get all of your rewards here so you need to hit the 930,000 uh, points and then you're gonna get the rewards and this is how we did it if you're gonna check everything is lit for us you need to use food use food when you go to the run and here it requires technique so don't forget technique characters deals a lot of damage this is why we're using triple staff lily and if you have terrible tornado she's absolutely awesome don't put her on AI, use Bang as an AI, the AI for Bang is absolutely crazy and use Triple Staff Lily, use uh, Terrible Tornado, Terrible Tornado deals a lot of damage here and this is how you're gonna do a lot of damage and you will climb up the ranks and uh, yeah, that was it for the video, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe, if you didn't, I thank you for watching and as always stay frosty, peace!